can be. Um, and I hope that, you know, target individuals who do hang out with their families, um, I hope you had a good day. Uh, I hope you had the, the best day you could have with your family. Um, and had experienced a lot of love and uh, good food and, um, and as much relaxation as you could. And if you are a target individual who, um, you know, didn't, uh, you know, you weren't able to spend time with your family uh, for some reason or, you, you know, you don't really have anybody to spend Thanksgiving with, you know, please come to my after call at 11 p.m. Central tonight. Um, that would be 9, 9 p.m. Pacific time um, and it would be midnight Eastern time. And I'm gonna I'm gonna open the call for for five hours. I'm pretty tired, but you know we'll just talk and uh, you know we'll say what we're thankful for, talk about you know things that are bothering us. Um, we'll just talk about whatever defenses and everything. Um, I really I'm really looking forward to uh, that. You see the copper mesh over there. Let's see if I can get how it's kind of going down the wall. Um, I'm gonna go. I think because um, my my staple gun broke, I told you all about that. So I think for Black Friday, I might go out during Black Friday. I might not. I don't know. But um, I'm really looking forward to just putting that. I'm going to put that copper mesh all the way to y'all see y'all see my computer. Like when I when I work on when I mess with the computer, um, you know, showing things on my phone on the computer. I'm going to put it all the way from the back of the room all the way here and then on top of it I put some um, I just put some thermal blankets uh, the thermal blankets don't work that well they're pretty weak I mean if you if you do use them I would suggest using them with uh, heavy-duty aluminum foil what I do with my with my tent here my uh, my bunker is I put a layer of thermal blankets so it kind of stabilizes and like especially the front and the back I'll like pin some thermal blankets to it and then I can tape the aluminum uh, the heavy duty aluminum foil to the thermal blanket so so it doesn't fall off of the uh, of the bunker um, so I kind of utilize it as a kind of a sticking point the just the the uh, the, the foundation you know of, of the bunker um, but it really, it really does. It's it's pretty weak uh, in blocking this stuff. Now the the heavy duty aluminum foil is great. Uh, now the copper mesh is really awesome, and you know you can use the thermal uh, thermal blankets as a, as kind of a, a supplemental uh, defense, like an extra layer. Uh, a lot of people say the Reflectix is very good, so I think I'm going to get the Reflectix and make an extra layer on the top. Um, I haven't gone, I guess this month I haven't really gone through, I've gone through a, a couple of defenses. I, I still want to go through, um, I don't have my supplements by me. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. I, I, I mean, I have I have the rest of the month to go through some of that stuff. Um, but even if I don't get to it, you know, I will have kind of an extension where I'm not doing a video every day. But, uh, you know, the, the videos that come in December... Um, a lot of them will probably be stuff that, you know, I just didn't get to uh, this month. Um, and sometimes I've, be, I've just been like today and yesterday, you know, spending time with my family. I'm just, I am still tired. Like I had a better night's sleep last night because of the bunker, because of what I was able to do. It was like uh, 50 to 75% better uh, than what I've been dealing with for the last two weeks. Then when I was up all day, though, um, they were hitting me in the back, and, and I'm, like, extremely tired, which I don't know if that's from the actual torture or if they're just remote neural manipulating me to where I'm, like, extremely, extremely tired. So I know I've had a lot of these days. <laughs> I've had a lot of these days um, this month for the November video marathon where I'm just like, well, I'm just going to kind of talk about some things off the top of my head. Um but as a targeted individual, we kind of we kind of do that. Some days we're gonna feel bad, um, you know, and, and that's kind of like if you're not doing a video marathon, that's a good day not to maybe do a video, um, or if you want to document it, that's also good. But the the kind of the view that I take is that you take everything that's happening in this and you try and turn it around on the evil. Um, so even if something really bad is happening to you and you can't present yourself, and this my mentor uh, uh, texted me today 
and I wished him a happy Thanksgiving. He wished me a happy Thanksgiving first, actually. Um, and he and he was like, yeah, great video. You know, show people that even when we're tired uh, or worn out, because we get that way, we can still put across great information. We can still document, you know. We can still turn that around and use it against this program. Because that's that's really, you know, what they want to do is they want to make you tired and they want to make it so you can't think and then you can't present the information right, you know, so it's neutralizing you. So we, we can't let them neutralize us no matter how we feel, no matter how tired we feel or how, how if we're, we got a brain fog going from remote neural manipulation or the high-pitched sound, uh, you know, we can't let that keep us down. We've got to kind of try and turn that in on this thing. Uh, as much as we can, we've got to use everything we can and keep getting info out, guys. Um, you know, we're getting closer. It, uh, you know, it just seems like people, um, you know, they're they're mainstream people. There are a lot of mainstream people. Uh, it seems like with, um, you know, my PlayStation Three fell over. I think I knocked it over earlier. There's a lot of mainstream people in, in America and other countries, um, and even when something like horrifying like this is happening, and really people need to stop and deal with this because it's so terrifying, it's, I mean, I, I, unimaginable. Like MK Ultra from afar with, with even worse, it's like, you know, extreme mutilation with that and uh, trauma-based, you know, mind rape. Um, and then MK Ultra with electromagnetic frequencies, 24 hours a day, even when you sleep. You know, when something that terrible is going on, that's like mutilation and genocide, people need to stop um, because it's happening in their country. Probably this is how, if any country that you're in, it's probably happening in it uh, from your military industrial complex. Um, but there are still a lot of, you know, mainstream people who, um, you know, they're just, you know their lives are good they're not they don't have to deal with it so you know so uh you know they're just going to go along with their business until until it happens to them um i've kind of changed that about me but i've done that you know uh the the you know 911 and the wars overseas i didn't i didn't know anything uh was i i didn't know that the mainstream narrative about 911 was bs until 2008 and, um, you know, I knew that we were going, we were sending people overseas and, um, you know, I, I heard about brutalization happening over there, but hey, it wasn't in my country, you know, so I think we're all guilty of that, it, of, it, it, you know, it doesn't, it, it doesn't affect our lives, so, um, so, you know, we kind of ignore it and just go about our business until it, until it hits our lives. Now, with ours, it's a little bit more complicated because even when we tell people and scream in their face, hey, this is happening, um, you know, a lot of them just say we're lying, um, you know, that we're lying or we're crazy. So I guess that's another that's another layer there. Um, but I'm trying to think what, what else I wanted to talk about. I kind of wanted to go, um, I wanted to talk about Dr. Eric Kalsh from a bit. Um, he's given a lot of great interviews with uh, Ramola D, um, and um, I think Jeff Rents and Kev Baker. Um, but he has a great uh, website, and I can't remember the name of it. I might do that maybe on my next video, or I might go through the supplements and cleansing uh, on the next video. Um, but uh, Dr. Eric Karlstrom has a great interview with uh, with uh, Dave Case on it. I think it's uh, mind control, it's like, um, mind control cults, gang stalking, uh, gang stalking mind control cults.com, gang stalking mind control cults.com, I think that's, that's the website, what website, um, maybe just look up Dr. Eric Carlstrom's websites, because I think he has a couple, but he has a lot of interviews with some some really important whistleblowers uh, on his website, so I just wanted y'all to check those out. And I really, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pay for a new hat this month because it's it's this is ridiculous. I've said it on every video almost. Um, but all right, guys, I think I'm gonna kind of close down the call. Um, I'm gonna close it with a little bit of a, a prayer for Thanksgiving. 
um, and just also to help us uh, to get more strength to get through this, to get out, you know, better information, uh, you know, to get it out intelligently so that people will help us, so that people higher up, like in, in our representatives in local government, will step up and stop this, um, and anybody who has the power to. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to see what Bill Benny and Kirk Weeby do with the Global TI Survey. Um, but yeah, I'm going to kind of, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, dear Lord, thank you, thank you for um, today with our families, any target individual that got to spend time with their families, thank you for our families in general. Um, you know, thank you that for everybody who has food to eat, that we have food to eat. Um, please, um, you know, put peace and and love and somebody, uh, put, put somebody in, in the path of people who didn't have anybody to spend Thanksgiving with, um, who were maybe alone, a target individuals who were alone or don't get time to spend with their family for some reason, please give them, give them, um, you know, a pathway to love and, uh, camaraderie with people, uh, today. Um, just thank you for everything that you've given us in this world that is beautiful and good, um, and pure God. Um, please help us with this struggle, with every struggle, but especially, um, you know, especially this targeting, this brutal, um, you know, brutal mind rape and, and mutilation of our bodies. Please help us to, you know, come up with better ways for people who maybe aren't targeted to, to join the fight with this, um, for people who are doing this to decide not to do it and join our side. Um, just make miracles happen, God. I mean, that's all I can ask you is just please make miracles happen every day. Please get us, get the people and the, the target individuals, all, well, all of us, get all of us out of this horrible brutalization so that we can have peace and relaxation and really uh, fail or succeed on our own where we don't have somebody, you know, raping us all day long and deciding our fate. Um, you know, from, from the shadows and from afar. Um, you know, please give us our lives back, God, please. I just, I just pray to you, and, I, and I, I thank you. I thank you for everything that you're doing against this program, against this uh, non -hum, non, um, non-consensual human experimentation. Um, I just thank you. I thank you for this world and all the beautiful people in it who do the right thing. Um, wake them up. Open their eyes. Um, you know, if it's your will, um, please, please end this for us uh, and take care of our families also. Bless and protect us, God. Um, all right. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, so I guess that's, that's kind of all I had. I just kind of wanted to do a Thanksgiving update. So happy Thanksgiving, guys. Um, I hope things are going good for you. I just hope they're going well. Um, you know, um, it's tough day by day for me, but I, I do have the love of my family and the help of my family in a lot of things, um, where if I didn't, I would be in, you know, I'd be living on the street probably. Um, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, and I just, I pray, uh, for everybody who doesn't have that, that they'll find a pathway to where they can have resources, um, you know, to fight against this better, um, to fight against what's happening to them better. Um, all right, that's about kind of it today, guys. Um, I'm going to try and, you know, build up my, my bunker more, um, so I'm more comfortable when I'm sleeping, so I'm attenuating more when I sleep, and so I have more energy, uh, to, to really tackle some, um, some important information, um, more, more defensive information, more supplemental information for supplements and cleansing, um, but, you know, if, if, uh, if, if you want to come to my calls, I do talk about, you know, defenses and supplements I take. And check out bestemf.com also for supplements for heavy, heavy EMF exposure. Uh, bestemf.com. All right, guys, I'm getting to 30 minutes. But um, just uh, God bless and protect. God bless and protect all of you and your families. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, and if you want to come join my call tonight, uh, you know, please do. Um, I love all you guys. God is behind us on this, and I think we're going to see miracles this year. Um, I really do. I pray on my knees that we see some, some huge miracles this year with this. Um, 
I love y'all, and I will see y'all on the next one.